Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and today I'm going to be looking at how to make some Shaga Mushroom Extract. That's spelt C-H-A-G-A. -A. Now the reason I'm doing this is because apparently it has some very important antiviral properties and it's been recommended for both the prevention and treatment of um, the coronavirus. Excuse the work up here, I'm currently renovating a boat so, so it looks a bit like a building site. So what we're going to do is I've got this, well, let's get it here, this, which I bought off Amazon. It's supposed to be good quality, Estonian Shaga Mushroom. And preparing it looks to be a little bit of a pain, but we're going to give it a go. Now, apparently you need a tablespoon of this, and it can be reused after you've, you've made your tea out of it. So we're going to do one to two spoons teaspoons it says per cup of water over a low heat but i've read a tablespoon and two liters of water and then warmed up over around about 40 minutes so let's go and do that okay so i've got this mushroom extract here i'm just going to open i'm just going to open the packet let's see what it smells like Doesn't smell of anything. Just going to add the tablespoon to the pan, one liter of water, and then we're going to warm it up. Now they say don't boil it, but just bring it so it's just warming up, and we're then going to stew it over forty minutes to one hour. Okay, so if I can do this one-handed, so I've got my measuring spoon. You can see it's brown. Looks, looks almost like coffee. I'm going to put that into the pan. I'm going to add a bit more. Apparently, this is reusable. So even after I've used it this once, I'm going to not use all of this, but sprinkle more in because I want to. Because one liter seems a lot. Okay, that will do. I say, apparently, we can reuse it. Then we're going to ha add in our one litre of water. I'm going to make up another litre of water from my, from my jug. Excuse the state of my water jug, but we get very um, hard water around here, so we get a lot of chalk, so it quickly chalks up. That's why I like to filter my water. Get rid of some of the chalk. Okay, so we're just going to add about another half a litre. That gives us one litre in total. Why don't we give that a little, a little stir? And there. And then put this lid on and then take it over to the hob. So we've got this on the, the hob. So let's get the gas going. Yes, I'm going to put this on a very low heat now. Allow that to allow that to warm up. Say so not to boil, but just to, to warm up. Warm up, and they reckon to leave this for around 40 minutes to an hour. So they said the ideal temperature is about 75 degrees. I haven't got a thermometer. So I'm just going to heat it up on a very low heat gradually and then I'll start the timer. So we'll see what it's like in about an hour. Apparently it turns into a brownish liquid and we'll go from there. Looks like I won't need to drink it all at once. So I can put it into a jug, put it in the fridge or even apparently freeze it as ice cubes. So we'll see about that. Okay, see you in a moment. As part of my antiviral scheme, also got vitamin C, which is 1000 milligrams. And I'm going to take three of these a day at the moment. If I do come down the virus, I'll increase that to five. So that's five grams a day. I've also got this Usnea lichen tincture. And that's uh, 10 drops twice a day. And what that does is it improves mucosal and ciliary epithelial um, 
tissue repair, tissue turnover. Now the cilial epithelial tissue is a tissue that lines the, the, the trachea that goes down into the lungs. So it helps that to, maintain, uh, to be healthy and to recover should it get attacked by a virus. So I've not started this yet, but I will start that today. Wow, 10 drops, two times a day. So I'll probably put that in, a, drop it into a little bit of water and drink that. And got a multivitamin, one a day. And also some zinc tablets. Now I'll probably take one of these a day, but then if I do get the infection, do get the coronavirus, I'll then start breaking open the capsules, forming a little bit of a paste and just letting it settle in the back of the, the throat and then swallowing it. So that's my plan for the moment. Ask any questions be below in the, the comments and I'll see if I can answer them. But I think prevention is obviously better than, than cure. And you've got to do what you, you need to do nowadays to try and protect yourself. So we'll come back to the, the shagger mushroom in a moment. Well, about an hour. See how it looks. See you soon. Okay, so the chaga tea is finished. Chaga tea, chaga coffee. I've heard it called numerous things. We'll call it chaga tea. Is actually finished now. So there's going to be lots of little bits at the bottom. Um, I haven't got anything to filter it. I haven't got any coffee, fi coffee filters or tea filters or anything like that. So I'm just going to have to decant the liquid off into a jar. So I'll do that and then we'll have a look, see what it looks like. But this is it. Let's, let's position this. So this is it. And see, it's a nice, you get that? Nice dark brown color. So let's pour this into a jar and see, see where we're at. So here it is, this is the chaga tea, it's a dark brown liquid. So we're just gonna pour some into the cup. So cheers everyone, this is the, the chaga tea. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. Not too bad at all. Doesn't, doesn't taste of a, a lot. Got a slightly, slightly sweet taste to it. I was gonna add some, some honey, but um, it's, it's a slight, slight toffee taste. In fact, it's a much more pleasant taste than tea. Hmm, quite nice. I don't think this needs any sweetener. I guess you could add a bit of honey if you wished. In fact, let's try it with a bit of honey. Got some honey here from Danewood Apiary. This is a, a friend of mine who keeps bees. So we've got some honey here. Um, it's actually really nice. So I'm gonna add a little spoonful to that and see what it tastes like in the tea. The tea is hot, so it should Yep, it's dissolving nicely, so we'll try that. It's just a half a teaspoon of, of honey from the local area in Kent. Never even know, it might add some, um, some goodness to it with its antioxidants and, and what have you. So let's try this with the, with the honey. Oh wow, that is nice. That is good. I think the bag of um, chaga mushroom cost me about 10 pounds off, off um, Amazon. And it seems to have made, well, I started with two liters of water. So that should, should last, if I have a cup a day, should last a few days, maybe even more than one cup a day, with a little bit of honey. With all its phytochemicals, its antiviral properties. Hopefully, I shall keep the old coronavirus at bay. Cheers. See you next time.